Hello people, glad to join you here with another unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing Ben Prestos Ichiban Kuji Asuna made figure from Sword Art Online. Now this is one of those figures I had on my wish list for quite some time now. And it wasn't too long ago when I finally decided to pull the trigger, maybe around a month or so ago. Uh, in any case, I bought this figure for about $52, shipping included. And if you guys are interested in buying one for yourself, I'll make sure to provide a link in the description for you to check out. It's an affiliate link, so if you buy anything using that link, it helps me out. Uh, with that said, enjoy the rest of the unboxing video. It's a great looking figure, there's no other way to put it, uh, and I'm just going to say it, Asuna looks really cute in this maid outfit. Uh, usually maid versions of anime figures don't really catch my attention, you know, they tend to look very generic. At least some of the ones I've seen, but not this one, this one is really unique and really stands out. You know, whether it be her shoes, her striped stockings, her dress, the wave motion that the hair has, you know, as if the air was moving the hair. You know, it all comes together and works really well. And I like that her maid outfit references her original Aincrad outfit, which I thought was a nice touch. The red pinkish color scheme really pops out and seems fitting. It was a good decision on their part. And most importantly, the figure actually looks like the character. <laughs> she measures at about uh, six and a half inches from the bottom of the base to the top of the figure. The figure itself is a little bit over six inches tall. Uh, she's listed as being 16 centimeters tall, so I guess we'll just go with that. <laughs> the figure comes attached to the base, which feels very stable. And whether you're a fan of that or not, at least you don't have to worry about attaching the figure to the base or forcing the figure into the base's holes. Uh, I want to say that the base is pretty big, which it is, uh, considering the size of the figure. But it makes sense, since she has her legs spread apart and they need the extra room. Otherwise, I would say that the base should have been a bit smaller. Speaking of the base, uh, I like the design that it has. It blends really well with the figure. The figure has a cute design. The pose is great. Overall, you know, very vivacious. It looks like Asuna is ready to prepare some desserts for you with that giant whisk cover in cream. At a glance, when I first saw this figure, I thought she was holding a mop. <laughs> but I'm glad it was a whisk since Asuna likes to cook, so it seemed more fitting that she was holding a whisk and not a mop. Assembly was easy, just be gentle when putting the whisk together and when inserting the stick between her hands. You know, it felt like a very delicate procedure since the stick feels a bit flimsy, so try not to bend it. I do wonder how well the stick will be able to hold the giant whisk over time since the giant whisk has some weight to it, uh, but I guess only time will tell. I'm just crossing my fingers that it stays stable. The paint job ain't half bad at all uh, for what it is, and to my surprise, uh, the level of detail is actually pretty good. Uh, sure, there are a few hidden spots that could have been better, like the paint job around some of the stripes on her stockings. But it's very, very minor and it's only noticeable upon closer inspection. And if you're nitpicking, at the end of the day, it's nothing you wouldn't expect from a price figure. Overall, uh, I would recommend the purchase. It's a great addition to any collection, especially if you're a fan of Asuna and or SAO. Or simply if you're a fan of made figures and made um, characters. Yeah, I do wish I would have paid less for this figure, though, uh, since it's only a price figure. And then again, most of us out there wish we could pay less for the stuff we buy. But I'm glad that I bought this figure, though. Uh, I really like it. Just imagine how much nicer it would have been if it was a scale figure. 
Anywho, uh, do keep in mind that there are limited quantities out there, so get yours before they're completely gone or before the prices go up even more. Uh, there's also a special cream color version of this figure, which looks really good as well. So keep an eye out for that one as well. I'll make sure to provide a link for that one as well down in the description. Well, anyways, that's it for this unboxing video. As usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. It really means a lot. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications for this channel by hitting that notification bell. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll catch you next time.